Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is Haley and Comet, A Trip Around the Sun by Deborah Marcero, published by Roaring Book Press. This is just a very cute graphic novel series about Haley and her friend Comet, who kind of, you know, or lessons. Uh, it's geared clearly towards younger readers. Um, Haley says that she's seven years old in this. I actually think this is for kids that are much younger than that. Um, my three-year-old enjoys it, not three-and-a-half-year-old, but uh, she enjoys the first book, um, which was just Haley and Comet. She hasn't read this one yet, so I'm kind of really interested in seeing what she thinks. Uh, so it's a trip around the sun. This is all about time. It's about passage of time, growing up, changing. It's some really solid lessons to kids who might not either understand those concepts or just kind of like learning them and need to figure it out. Like my daughter. I'm going to be very fascinated to see what she does with this. Uh, this is actually three different stories. The first one is about uh, a caterpillar who changes. You learn about metamorphosis. Uh, the second one is about a kitten uh, that f follows them and um, the changing of, uh, we'll say like, ice and snow and stuff like that, uh, water changes with that, and then the third one's all about growing up and birthdays. Um, so the three together have a nice solid theme about them, and uh, they work really, really well. I, you know, it's three lessons that all, when you put them together, make a lot of sense and, and help create a narrative and a better understanding of the, of the concepts. As I said, I'm really interested in seeing what my daughter has to say about this. Um, maybe we get a, a review of her. Uh, her thoughts, but you know, overall, it feels like it's a it's a solid book for younger kids. I would say like young, younger than like maybe five and younger. Like kindergarten seems about right. If about a little bit younger, preschool. Um, you know, it's 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 kids who are like just learning about days and the year and like again, my daughter has a calendar. She understands kind of time is you know circular and it goes around in circles and. Uh, and, you know, days come back and you still, you still have to go through holidays and all that. Like, she's getting those concepts. So I'm kind of interested in seeing how she applies that knowledge to reading this or, you know, having this read to her. So um, overall, like, it, it should be entertaining. There's there's nothing objectionable at all about this. This is one of the most, you know, one of the safest reads there is. Um, like, nothing contrary, nothing. Like, it's, it's about a cute girl and her friend that's a comic. That's about it. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's good. And the, the art I think is pretty good. Um, I mean, it's, it's perfect for kids. I, I can't think of what it reminds me of, but there's, you know, some classic, a classic story it reminds me of. And I just, for some reason I'm not thinking it through as to what, what that is. The one thing I think that stands out to me though, and it's not really negative, is the, is the lettering. Um, but this is geared towards kids, and I think the lettering is really geared towards kids. So, while as an adult and someone who reads comics and all that, I kind of sat there and I kind of go with, eh, this feels off. Um, it's not, it's really not for me. It's, it's an ease of reading for kids. Um, you know, there's, there's wide spaces for the sentences or words. The bubbles are a little bit bigger. The, the font is, I think, per, it was, is probably chosen for a very specific reason. Um, it all seems very specifically thought out for kids reading and making it easier for them. So cool, 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 cool. I mean, as an adult, I notice it. I think making kids, making it easier for kids to read Awesome. Um, that's that's always a good thing. So overall, like this is it's a cute book. Um, I throw it in the category of one that you know parents aren't gonna go completely insane reading. Um, I think there's a lot of stuff that can be discussed out of it. There's a lot of lessons that can be learned, and to me, that's all a very good thing. So I recommend it. I think this is this is a pretty solid read. It's entertaining and and well worth uh, getting for the young ones. Out now in shops, you can go get it. You might be able to get this in, in comic book shops. We got a link beneath their video. Uh, put in your zip code to have the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links where you'll be able to purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage by doing that. You'll support a site, though, so thank you. And speaking of support, I want to thank Roaring Book Press for hooking us up with the review copy. And, of course, thank you all for watching. If you're into comics, if you're into graphic novels, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time. Keep reading those comics and keep it geeky.
Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.